Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to attempt to fix one of our screen doors. Karma had ran through it in the past. She just didn't see it was there, so she broke it. And I recently saw a TikTok that showed me how easy it is to do. So I've decided to try it out for myself and hopefully it's as easy as it looked. I think it will be, it seemed very, very simple. So I'm gonna go buy the screen that I need to fix it and then I'll show you guys how I do it. I'm also going to pressure clean my back patio. So I'll show that too. So today is kind of like a home improvement video and I hope it's interesting. I find this kind of stuff pretty interesting. I also have an update. I am going to be going out to Colorado on Sunday. Joe unfortunately has to stay home because he couldn't get off work, but I'm gonna go for my younger sister's 21st birthday. I've been planning her party. It's more of a down to earth one. If you didn't know, I am an event planner. I haven't quite started my own company yet, but that is the ultimate goal. So you'll have a bunch of travel videos coming up soon. And I have a bunch of ideas for videos that I'll do while I'm in Colorado. So there's something for everyone to look forward to. Those will be in the coming weeks. I may end up posting two videos for multiple weeks, just depending on how much footage I get, but there's a bunch of stuff that I'm gonna be doing and I'm excited for these videos. So I hope you guys are too. And let's go fix this screen. So I have everything now. I'm back from Home Depot. This is the screen I got. I measured my screen door first and it's ending in one that's like a little bit longer and larger than yours because you'll have excess to cut off. So that's what I did. I got a 36 by 84 and when I measured this, it was like 34 by 77 or something like that. So this is perfect. It was only like $8. Took the door off, you see here, this is where little karma decided to run right through and become super traumatized. But basically what you do, and I'll show everyone all of this, you get this little inside out, you pop it out, and then you pull it all out around the whole screen, and you save it for later. Then you're going to pull out the old screen, roll out the new one around it, clamp it down on the edges, make sure it's tight. Then after that, you're just gonna take the black piece that I just showed you, push it right back in. From there, once it's all in, you go ahead and you cut off the excess. Okay, so I finished putting the new screen on. As you can see, I've been using this. My one regret was I didn't buy this like roller thing to help put the little rubber piece back into the groove. So I didn't feel like going back to Home Depot. So instead I just used the back of this. I think that made it take a lot longer. It still did the trick. <laughs> My hand hurts now though, so. If I'm ever gonna fix another one, or if you wanna fix a screen, I highly recommend getting the roller. Other than that, now, I just have to take this, or I think like any really sharp blade. Don't use like a steak knife, obviously. Use a tool. I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna go around and like lightly cut off the excess, because I don't wanna scratch the door so much. And then I'll show everyone once the door's back up, and it will look like this one, but on this side. Here's the door, and now I'm gonna put it 
The only thing with this one, you can see that it's not professionally done. I could go back in and clean it up a bit. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Like these edges, they're not as clean from the excess. Like I didn't get as much off, which is an easy fix. But overall, it's a door again. And I noticed something on the other door that is very annoying. But if it isn't the most realistic thing you've ever seen. Don't mind how dirty it is. Come up to it. It's broken. So it looks like I'll have to do another screen repair on the other door, but not today. That's another day's project. I did one, done. I know how to do it now. And next time I'll do better and I'll get the little roller thing so that I don't break my thumb over this. And now it's time for me to pressure clean my back patio. I'm officially finished and I think it looks great. It took me, I'd say like an hour, hour and a half. I was really just getting all like the, all of the weeds and like the gunk that builds up between the pavement. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know if you can really tell, but I got all the little crevices and there was a lot of weeds growing in it. I that so now it's drying and now it's all clean over here I also got rid of the other grill we used to have because it was broken so now we have a lot of space and I'm gonna move everything around okay everything is back in its spot and if you can't tell the difference that's fine I'm exhausted and I'm still gonna show you That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do some random household chores that we don't need to pay people to do because we can do it ourselves. We are independent people, right? Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you are informed every single time that we post. If you'd like to, you could always follow us on Instagram. That'll be linked in the description below. We post every Wednesday slash Thursday. And we will see you on the next video. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to like. Please like. Mm -hmm.